It's colder than you'd think. Yeah? Yeah, I believe so. So you can read my mind then? It's colder than it looks, I should say. Right, yeah, I know. I was kidding. Mm. My tongue is sometimes faster than my mind, so... Yeah. There's probably a joke in there somewhere, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I speak a few languages, so sometimes... Yeah, you know, it's funny. I thought I could detect a little... a little accent in there. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? Uh, French, Italian, a little German. That would have been my guess. A mix. And she's taken it. Fortune favors the bold. Right. Yeah. It's, um... It's Latin, isn't it? Very good. Good for you. I am a librarian, so... It's gotta be good for something, right? Really? You don't look like a librarian. I'll take that as a compliment. Even if it wasn't. You should. I will. I will. So, uh... You come around here often, or...? <laughs> really? I know that sounds super corny, but... You know, I, I really don't mean anything by it. Well, actually, I do. This is kind of my secret spot. Well, not exactly. I know about it. I mean, for my husband. My family. I cannot eat or read, relax. I think that makes sense. Sure, no. No, I get it. Oh, I'm finished. I'm gonna go. Enjoy. Um, that's... You don't have to, you know. If you're not in a hurry or anything. Thank you. But, uh, I gotta go. It's a lovely beach. Enjoy your day. I'm Marilyn, by the way. Connor. Good name. Thanks. You too. I do. You again? Yes, it's me. You gotta stop following me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, how are you? Going all right, I suppose. No, that I'm not so sure I can believe. <laughs> You're very perceptive. <laughs> it's kind of obvious the way that you said that. Plus, uh, with those on? Oh. Uh. If you're gonna say you ran into a door frame, please don't. I won't believe you. I was gonna say cabinet, but I guess you're right. I'm not so okay. I'm really sorry. No, it's not your fault. Well, that's good. <laughs> Maybe I can be the solution. Maybe. Anyway, I suppose in a way it was you. Um. At the beach. I just took too much time talking to you and I was late getting home. So. Oh my God. I'm so... What? Connor, when you're done in there, could you come here, please? Take over at the desk? Absolutely. Just a minute. I'm helping somebody here. She's your boss? 
No, just some old lady I've been fucking. <laughs> exactly what I was imagining, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad that that's what went into your mind. That's good. Um, yeah, she's one of several. You fucking? No. Bosses. All oh, right, well, yeah. she sure sounds like it. That she does. Anyways, um, you're here, where I work. How can I help you? You looking for anything particular? Something about murder. Are you serious? To read. I mean, a story about... Murder. Right, yeah. Not yeah. the actual, yeah. Not the actual... No, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> um... I'm getting the uh, cat call from my fuck buddy. No, so. I know. I'm so sorry. That's no, my no. fault. Please, don't worry about it. I'd sit here all day and talk to you if I could. But... I understand. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'll go ahead and take you to the crime section, and you can go ahead and take it from there. Thank you. Cool. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for up here. Mysteries, thrillers, that kind of thing. It's kind of our bread and butter. What with the name of our town and everything. What's that? Twin Oaks. It's the name of the cafe and the postman always rings twice. Oh. Trust me, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Here we are. All right, thank you. No problem. You uh, looking for anything in particular? Not really. Something for the beach. The beach. Preferably one where the husband dies. Ah, yeah. <laughs> one of those, of course. Yeah, I don't want to ruin your reading experience, but just about every other one ends that way, so. Good. Yeah. I'll have my pick then. Yes, you will. <laughs> um, I should really get back down. Oh, yes. Thank you again. No problem. Take care. It's good to see you again. You too. I feel the same. What's that? I'd like to talk to you two all day if I could. I came. Good choice. Yes. Mm. I got a tip from a friend. Well, you seem to have good taste, this friend of yours. I trust him from now on. How are you? Hmm. That one looks pretty good, too. Yeah, you know. Not too bad. Thanks, but, uh... We're really not supposed to take any tips. Go ahead, take it. You sure? I mean, I don't want to take your last dollar. <laughs> I insist. Use it. Don't spend it. You understand? Please, I, you cool? You good? Yeah, it's just, you know. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to stay a little later than I thought. No, please. I mean, my time is your time, right? It's not what I'm saying. 
I'm just saying, you know, we had a little extra work. Well, and no, I, I, I kind of think you are. I mean, you waltz in here anytime you feel like it, all casual. I mean, kind of makes a pretty big statement. Sorry. What I meant to say is, honestly, um, I'm late because of my job, which I'm supposed to have, so. <laughs> um, are you trying to piss me off right now? No. I mean, is that what you're doing? No. Are you sure? Yeah, stop. Ow! And it seems like you're an hour. I mean, no, no, because if you want me to sit here all day with my dick down your throat, I can definitely do that. No, that... No, all you gotta do is say so. That is not necessary, sir. Oh, I, that, I like that. The sir thing you just did there. Yeah. That's not even required, but that shows respect. That's real good. Thanks. Well, you're very welcome. But seriously, just let me know if you need me to come out here more often so you can suck on my cock to help you recall the reason that we need to keep having these little meetups. What do you think? What a fucking asshole. Yep. Jesus. Talking like that in a family place. Yep, I know. Hey, boys. Hey. Yeah, you were great in deliverance, by the way. The fuck's that mean? Um, it means show me. What? Show me one family in here. I'll walk over, I'll apologize to them. I'll say, I am very sorry for using such bad words. Come on, show me. Yeah, that's what I thought. So why don't you go back to eating your $3 breakfast, stay out of my goddamn business, okay? Yeah, maybe we don't feel like it, bitch. Oh, is that right? Oh, boy. That's really interesting. Okay, see if you can guess what this means. Whoops. You know what that means? What I just did there? That means I'm a state-appointed law officer, and I don't like the way you're looking at me or listening in on my conversation over there. Conversation that I'm having with a known felon. Uh, sorry, that's my bad. So take down my badge number, you can write up a complaint, send it off to Providence if you want to. But while I'm here in your, God, this is a shitty little candy corn eating town, you'll shut the fuck up and you'll mind your own goddamn business. Is that clear enough for you, uh, uh, blubber boy? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. That's great. How are you there, uh, dumb shit? Yeah, I, I hear you. Oh, that's great. You guys both get gold stars for the day. Pay the bell, meet me outside. Gee, I hope I wasn't too rude to your cousins in there. No, it was totally fine. You have a real natural charm about yourself. I think you really got through to them. Yeah, I felt like we had a real connection going at the end there. Anyway, you okay? You need anything? You got any questions for me? No. Are you sure? I'm not fucking up for you, doing anything stupid, because you know I'll find out. I'm sure. It's the hardest time, first six months of being free. We got your good job, right? I mean, you're not digging ditches. I like you, Bates. I really do. But don't you ever force my hand. Because I will come down on you like the fucking staff of Moses right across your skull. I swear to God, I will. I, just so you know. I understand. Sir. See, I really, <laughs> I really do like that. Keep that up. We're going to do just fine, you and me. Thank you. See you next week, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I really don't give a shit about excuses. So you'll be on time, you'll be driving out to see me instead. And I don't believe there's anybody in that whole goddamn county who's very eager to see your stupid ass face again. You hear, you hear me? I do. No, no, don't touch the car. Oh, sorry. Later. Later, Doc. Thank you.
I did what you asked. I didn't ask you. I told you. Good point. So, yeah. Hello. Hi there. Where are you right now? At work or at home? Not at work, but not at home either. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're with her right now. Your boss. Oh, yeah. Right. <sighs> no, I just left her place a while ago. She's exhausting. <laughs> I can only imagine. God, please don't. Now what? I'd like to see you. Again. Yes, I figured that much. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah. Well, um, I can't right now. I'm with my daughter. Oh, um, <clears throat> that's... I didn't know you had a daughter. I don't. Okay, now I'm confused. She's my stepdaughter. But she's here with me. Got it. Okay. And... So there's no way you can... None. We're waiting for a father to arrive, and I need to be here. And this is the guy who's been... The bruise? I can't discuss it right now. Understood. All right. I would like to see you again, though, even though I shouldn't. That would be great. Really, really great. Okay, well, thank you for calling, and um, I'll let you know. All right, yeah, let me know if you want to set up a time or whatever. Sitting. No loitering on the premises. I'm not. Sitting is loitering, son. It's just on a phone call. That's all. Then I'm going for a jog. Is that right? Yeah. Park closes at 6. I'll be long gone by then. Says you, and I don't give a shit what you say. Okay. I know who you are, by the way. Yeah? You hear what I said? Yeah. Don't get smart with me. I'm not. I said, yeah. All right, then. And you know who my fucking nephew is, right? Yes, I do. So you're a tough guy, huh? No. Yeah, you sure? You want to feel tough? Why don't you try getting tough with me and see what happens? I'm not a tough guy, sir. They got you good, didn't they? Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Six o'clock, be gone. I'll be swinging back by here, so... They lock the gates out front. I know they do. Yeah, you think you know a lot, but you don't know shit, asshole. Kim? 
Yeah. I can finish up up here if you want to go do the poetry section. Are you sure? Yeah. It's the other one they want redone today, so. Okay, but that's a lot smaller than up here. That doesn't seem fair. Hey, not always so magnanimous, so grab it while you can. <laughs> Fine. I'm just gonna go get these. What are you doing after work? Um. Let me guess. Going for a run. Probably. Yep. Jeez. You really love it, don't you? I guess so. It's kind of a habit at this point. You sure you're not out there training for the next Olympics? <laughs> yeah. I gave up on that idea in about the eighth grade. I just do it for fun now. I run, too. Do you? Yeah. Well, I, I jog, anyway. Oh. That's, um... Cool. Yeah. We should go together sometime. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, um... It'd be cool. Yeah, only if you want to. I know it's nice to run alone sometimes, but I would be up for it. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Yeah, let's. Cool. Oh, that's so. Uh, what's her name? Who? Astrid, I think, or something like that. She's in the Pilates class I take, and she's kind of a bitch. She's pretty and all that, but she's not very nice. Not to me, anyway. That's because you're pretty. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, that's like what happens when two pretty girls meet. You know, it's like two tigers in the wild. They're <laughs> like animals chasing after me. Not that I think you're a... An animal. I'm done. Um, you uh, go ahead and take care of poetry, and I'll take care of those ladies. That sounds good. And uh, thank you for the compliment, I think. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for a book about Chanel. Do you have anything like that here? Um, do you mean the company or the woman herself? Um, maybe a little bit of both, like a biography? Yeah. I'm doing a paper on her. It's for school. Yeah, we should have something for you in the fashion section downstairs. Would you like me to show you? Great. Um, could you actually go for me, please? I just want to send some emails. Shouldn't you be doing the work since it's for your class? Please? Sure. Thank you. Okay, we need to hurry, all right? We're meeting a father in an hour at the club for dinner. Gross. I thought you liked eating there. Yeah, I wasn't talking about the club. Hello again. Hi there. Sure, I'm glad we're the only library in town. <laughs> Me too. Your eye looks much better. Uh, you want to show me where I could find the book? Happy to. Come on now. Hey, Kim. I'm going to show this lady the downstairs. Um, would you keep an eye on the front for me? Sure, no problem. So this is the lower level. 
Got our plays, entertainment stuff, all that crap. There's some good stuff too, though. Rare books are over there. Mm, I love the smell of old books. Ah, oh, so do I. Believe it or not, a million years ago, I was an English major, but yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go take a look for your book. Here you go. Thank you. No problem. It's my job. I didn't mean for the book. Coming. So, how was your day off? Yeah, pretty good. Huh. You know, caught up on some laundry, read some Vonnegut, <laughs> ran, you know. Wait, you ran? Shocking. I can't stop. <laughs> oh, hey, guess who I saw yesterday after work? Who? Jared Clifton. Really? Yeah. I haven't heard that name in a long, long time. Oh, I know. And you will never believe who he's going out with. Who? Girl from my Pilates class, Astrid. Uh -huh. You know, the one you helped her and her mom find the book? They're together, Jared and Astrid. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know. That's what I've been hearing. And people have seen them around together for a while. And then I saw him pick her up yesterday after class in a really nice car. It wasn't his, I'm sure of it. She's been living here for a while. Apparently, her dad is really rich, and he had a bunch of houses everywhere, la-di-da. But yeah, that's who she's dating, Jared Clifton. <laughs> Can you even imagine? I mean, he's older than us. Shit. Yep. That's... What? Nothing. I mean, who am I to judge, right? Oh, please. Seriously. You're nothing like him. Connor. Mm. Okay, you did something, and you got punished for it. You're not a complete low-life piece of shit dick face like him. I mean it, there's a difference. 
Well, I'm glad you don't have an opinion about the subject. But he is, though. And you know that. Do I? Mm -hmm. Connor! I was wondering if you'd come or not. Are you joking? You called, so I came. Did you like older women, don't you? I can't think about another person since I met you. Yeah? Not even the pretty girl you work with? Ken? That's... No way. You sure? She sure looked interested in you. I'm sure. Not about her liking me. I mean, about me liking you. Good. I was jealous. Seriously? That's insane. It's nothing of the kind. Trust me. If you only knew my thoughts. I want you to whisper them to me. I never want this to end. Me neither. Hmm. Too bad it's impossible. Is it? Hmm, you know that. You know that. No, I don't. I don't know anything about you, so how can I possibly know that? I'm the same with you. Mm -hmm. But I love the way you look. The way you are. Thanks. That's... What? Just... Words I haven't heard in a long time. Hmm. Well, I would tell them to you every day if you were mine. Well, I like the sound of that. Of what? Being yours. Mm -hmm. Only. Because of your husband? Is that really it? Because of that, so much more. It's not just about me, Astrid. I'd be afraid for her. I don't understand. The 
the times that he's hit me, the bruises you've seen. Most of them, I got trying to protect her. Oh, my God. Fuck that. Fuck that. Turn him in. I mean, do it today. I'm serious. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. It is that simple. Call the police when you've done something wrong, and trust me, things happen really fast. I would know. What do you mean, you would know? This isn't about me right now, so... I don't care. You say something like this, tell me. I don't want to lose you. Oh, you won't. Just tell me the truth. A couple years ago, almost four now, I was going to college upstate. And I got invited to this family gathering for the July celebration. Yeah, so this is my great uncle who invited me. You know, he lived out by where I went to school. You know, I don't really know these relatives, so I figure. Worst case, I get some free food, some booze, mm -hmm. you know, fireworks, all that. So, yeah. I'm up for it. I go. And then, this one guy shows up. Friend of a friend. Kevin Edmonds. Kevin starts picking on this girl. Friend of one of the kids there. And I went up to him and I said, Stop it. You know, stop. He laughed. And he said, Make me. Just like that. And that was it. I just. Kevin fell back and hit his head on the corner of the concrete drinking fountain on the golf course. <laughs> and he never got up. He didn't die or anything like that, you know. He's had very serious mental, physical. And they threw me in jail for three years. Three years for pushing somebody. And, um, you know, obviously, by then I had dropped out of school. So I moved back in with my mom, started living in her basement. I got a job at the library because that's just about the only place that would hire me. Do the fucking violins. Mm. Well, you failed. How's that? You failed to scare me away. So when can I see you again? Can I see you again? I hope so. I don't take anything for granted anymore, so I hope so too. I understand. So? <laughs> I'll call you soon, I promise. Well, I guess that's something. Oh, shit. 
You all right? Yeah, no. It's just it's my keys. My dad gave me this little keychain when I graduated high school. It's an Indian head nickel. Anyways, the tip of it is broken, so the keys always slip off, and I think they did oh. when we were. I'm sorry. That's yeah, okay. I mean, I, I would try and help you find it. I just yeah, gotta. No. Don't worry about it. I got it. longer before this ship reaches port. If we ever do get to port, it should be within 14 or 15 hours. That's a long time. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, have a drink. Enjoy the Major's piano recital. Come on, Peterson, buy us a drink. I'm afraid I can't accept hospitality from persons who I intend in a few hours' time to denounce. It's something. You're upset. Uh, no, it's nothing. My husband called me on the way over here. Caught me off guard and started yelling at me. And we started arguing about nothing like we always do. I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. I'm so happy you're here. We should go. Wait, wait, wait. to rush you. Yeah, I got it. We got everything? Yeah. I really gotta get that thing fixed. You sure you had it when you got here? I think so, but then again, I did take off all my clothes and go in the shower with you, so I don't really know. It's probably at my house. Then if it's here, you'll just let me know. Okay. Thank you for your understanding. Didn't say I understood. See you soon? Maybe. Why does that sound like goodbye? What? Tell me. 
Because it could be, Connor. Are you joking? Are you joking? Marilyn, that's crazy. I mean, after what we just did, but that's, that's just not normal. It. it was incredible. And you incredible. Mm -hmm. People don't just die or go away. So I can't promise. Marilyn, no. No. That just, it, like, it can't, I don't, I don't understand. Like, please. Marilyn, fuck, no. I Make hope this is not the end for us. I really do. <sighs> but it could be. While you were inside getting lunch, my buddy Walt, he's the best guy, he sent me this meme. Look at it. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Hi there. Hello again. Hi. So how did your paper go? Oh, it was fine. I got a B plus. So that was pretty okay. Good. Well. Glad we had something useful for you. Hey, Kim. Hi. Uh, Connor, I think we should probably go. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry. Um, I did have a question for you. Book question. Um, All right. I mean, I can go and... No, uh, no, that's totally fine. It's totally fine. Oh. Um, yeah. You know, why don't you cover for me now? And I'll take the second shift, and um, yeah, I'll figure it out the rest of my break. So, um, would that be okay? Oh, sure. Great. Sounds good. Have a nice day. You too. Bye, Kim. Thanks, Kim. What's up, man? Nothing. What's up with you? Doing pretty good, don't you think? Hanging out with these beautiful ladies, so. Life doesn't completely suck. Wait, do you guys know each other? Oh, yeah. Everybody from Twin Elks knows Connor. <laughs> well, you're pretty famous around here yourself, Jared. Uh, not like you. This guy made a real name for himself. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Not really. Anyways, uh, you had a question about a book? That's the guy I told you about. Yes, the one that you recommended. About the two lovers. Uh, both of the books that you borrowed have two lovers in them. Yeah, well, the one that you said was so good. Most men always rings twice. Okay. I haven't had a chance to read it. I was just wondering, do they get away with it? Do you mean at the end or the crime itself? The crime? Yeah, they do. No. So it's a happy ending, then? Not necessarily. But the husband, he... Yeah, he does. Hello? That was torture today. Yeah, I agree. Did you ever find your keys? No, it's not my keys. It's the little part that connects to the end, but 
No. It'll turn up. It always does. I hope so. You said it was a keepsake. How are you? Are you okay? Has something else happened? That means yes. Fucking piece of shit. It could have been a happy ending. I'm sorry, you mean us? What you asked me about today? In the book? Would have turned out just fine if they stuck together. But they didn't. They turned on each other and fucked everything up. Everything would have been fine if they just saw it through. What are you saying to me? You know what I'm saying to you. Tell me. Say it. That if we do this, then it's forever. And I mean for all time, does that make sense? Yes. And? I agree. It's forever. All right, good. I'm taking Astra to Boston next week for two days. Shopping trip, he promised us months ago. Interesting. Well, if he keeps his word, which is not always a strong suit. That happens often? More often than I'd like. Which means a lot. If this does happen, where will he be? At the house. Which one? <laughs> True. Out on the point. Any alarms? Mm -mm, no alarms. He doesn't believe in them. He sleeps with a gun under his pillow wherever he goes. Makes him feel like a big man. Got it. really happening? Unless you tell me to stop it. This instant. Then yes, it's going to happen. Tell me it isn't for the money. It's money. If it is, even partially for it. Lie to me and tell me it isn't. Of course it isn't. You don't even have to think about it? No. Not even for a second? Seems like he's got a lot of it. He does, millions and millions, but not for me. I, I, I don't understand. Well, I, I mean, some of it will come to me as, as a monthly stipend, but, you know, the bulk of his estate goes to Astrid. I'm just the executor until she turns 25, and, and it's all hers. Say something wrong? Are you having second thoughts? About you? Never. I'm doing this for us, and I'm not going to think twice about it. I don't want to know any more about him ever. Never again. What I know is the way he treats you and her. 
and that's enough for me. Yes, it's gonna happen while you're in Boston. And when it does, we'll be free. shouldn't talk for a while. I don't know for how long, but until we both know it's safe. I understand. If anybody ever asks you, any phone call we ever had was about work. I gave you my number so that you could ask me about authors or I could provide you with information. Yes, I'll do that. Good. There's a sunroom at the side of the house. The door doesn't lock. We're supposed to leave on Tuesday. Then have a nice trip. There's one more thing I need you to do. I need you to go to a drugstore. I need you to buy one of those burner phones. If anything happens while I'm gone, you can text me. That way I'll know you're in trouble or you need something. When you use it, text me one word. Text me the word books. And I'll know. And I'll get to you somehow, I promise you. But do not call me. Text me and I will meet you at the parking lot of the woods where we met, okay? Okay. You do that and I promise you, I will get to you. No matter what it takes, okay? At least we'll be together. Do you understand? Nothing's gonna happen. Don't right? say it. Who jinx it? You promised we'll be together. Hello there. What's up? Must be my next question. Isn't that weird? Where you been all day? Good to see you too, deputy. You don't want to get smart right now. Smart asses get read their rights while they hold their stupid fucking faces down against the hood of my car. Do you see the way this guy talks to me? Just answer the question. I was out. It's my day off. Out? Where? Running. 
running uh, all day long. Yeah. And, and whatever. What is this? And maybe something, maybe nothing. We've had a series of break-ins the last few weeks. Last night, we had three. And you're asking me because? Because you're a convict and you live here. We're talking to anybody with a record, so. I see. I bet you do. Take it easy, please. He's got no priors when it comes to stealing or breaking and entering. He's anything. been to prison. Yeah, so is Martha Stewart. You check on her whereabouts yet? You piece of shit. Don't get me out of here. Come on. Relax. OK, you got nothing, right? Because you have an alibi for last night, don't you? Yeah. What is it? Dinner. With my mom. Until late. What is going on? How late? One or two. We watched some movie on TCM. The lady from Shanghai. Where is she? In Shanghai, I presume. Fuck you, your mom. Oh, my mother. Um, at work? At the hospital. Call her. Why didn't you answer my calls today? When? Oh, check your phone. Check your phone. Six. It's off. Ah, uh, keep that shit on from now on. Do you hear me? I don't like driving here any more than I have to, whether it's bullshit or not. God, I keep giving you chances. You keep dicking them up. Sorry. Okay, we should go. Can we go? I'll see you soon for breakfast. Don't be late. Blah, blah, blah. Enough about me. No, I'm interested. <laughs> no, you're not. I wish you were, but you're not. You keep uh, looking around, checking your phone. It's like your mind's not even here. It's not true. Isn't it, though? I mean, yeah. I'm a little distracted, but I'm interested. But not actually. Like I am. What do you mean, Kim? Like I am in you. Oh. Right? Oh. Anyway, change of subject. Um, why tonight? I've asked you out a couple of times. Well, not out, out, but for a run, whatever. Why now? Why dinner? No reason. Just... And we don't have to do that, by the way. You know, change the subject. I just, um... I didn't know that you felt that way about me. You know, I thought we were just friends or something. We are. But, Connor, come on. You know what I'm talking about. I know you do. Kim. Look, I love being friends with you. I need friends. Seriously. I think you're amazing. But no. I just... Yeah. Would you excuse me for one minute?
You look such a little... No. I couldn't sleep, so I walked down to the marine and... <sighs> okay, yes. The bar down by the marina. What? No, I keep ours on the cave. Come on, you know that. No, I just... <sighs> yes, a couple of drinks. And now I'm back. So tell Daddy goodnight and go to sleep. Yes. I said yes. It's true. I'll see you soon. Yes. <laughs> Good night. breaking in and stealing shit. Don't point that thing at me. Who told you to do that? Your little fucking girlfriend? No, no, dude. I mean, she hates her old man, and she showed me all the shit that he owns, but, dude, I've been doing this all over fucking town. I can't help it. It's what I do. That's not what I fucking asked you. That is not what I asked you. OK, I was, I was, I was up here, and I heard someone come in, so I fucking hid. And then I heard you two fighting, so I came in here, and he was, bro, he was about to sh I saved you. Can you not point that thing at me, please?
We're watching the railroad station, and he isn't hiding any words. Connor, you there? What did I say about calling me? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. But what did I say? Not to. That's right. And now you did. I'm on the phone that you made me get. It's not what I said. It's not what I said. I said, don't call me on this phone, period. And now you're dead. You know why I said that? I guess it's dangerous. More than that. Because it's the type of thing that can get you caught. Well, you've done it now anyway, so go ahead. He's dead, by the way, if that's what you're wondering. Is it? No. Really? I just wanted to, I needed to know that you're okay, that you're alive. Okay. Well, why wouldn't I be? I don't know. I just... You're just really horrible to me right now. Maybe that's because I just killed somebody four hours ago. Maybe that's why. I don't know. He'll be found soon, if he hasn't been already. Nobody's contacted you yet? No. All right. Then there's still time. Before what? Before the world comes busting down on our heads at 10,000 miles per hour in Maryland. Why was he there? Because I told you that he'd be there. It's his house. I'm not talking about your husband. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't follow what you're saying. I was there and he wasn't. Then he saw me. We ran upstairs. We struggled for the gun. He won it. He was going to shoot me dead. But he didn't. Do you know why, Marilyn? No. Because someone else was there. Jared Clifton, your stepdaughter's boyfriend. Are you joking? Why would I joke about something like that? What? I don't know. He said he was just breaking in and stealing some shit. It was all just a coincidence. That's a pretty huge fucking coincidence, don't you think? So tell me it was just that. A coincidence. Nothing more. It was, Connor. Are you actually saying that I could possibly... I don't know. But her boyfriend and your boyfriend both broke into the same house on the same night and one of us killed your husband which is awfully fucking convenient. I really don't like what you're saying. But all I know is that Jared Clifton was there and he saved my life. And then I shot him. What? Yeah, why not? It's the perfect alibi, I mean. <sighs> your husband was gone. The answer to our problems was just sitting there on his knees. So I did it. Then I made it look like they killed each other. That was my night. That was yours. Shopping was good. I 
I don't know what to say to you right now. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that it was worth it. It was. Okay. Fine. Then go back to bed and do not call me again. <sighs> Text me if you really need something. And be ready to lie your ass off for the next two months. I love you. You promise? I promise. Ah, uh, see now, this is more like you waiting for me. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. On top of it, this is my fucking lucky day. <clears throat> Yours too, from the sound of it. How's that? Oh, come on. You must have heard. Heard. The little fuck who murdered the rich guy over on, I don't know, water there. Jared Clifton? Whatever his name is. Whole firestorm of bad. Went down out there last night, shooting and stabbing, all kinds of shit. Guy took a fire poker to the back of the head and still managed to kill the perp. How the hell does that work, huh? Anyway, solves the break-ins they've been having around here, which is why I said it was... Well, that's pretty good for you. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah, no, I heard something about it at work. Terrible. Crime doesn't pay, right? That's what they say. They're right, too. You already know that, though, don't you, Bates? Sure do. Yeah. What's with your neck? What'd you do, cut yourself shaving? Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, um... You know. What's that? Yeah, you know, I, was, I was... You know, tree. Oh, you're still running. Yeah. Right. You still getting to work on time? Still driving that piece of shit car? <laughs> yep. Doing it all, living the life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, hey. Mm. Is there anything you want to tell me? No. Hey. Are you sure? Because I'm here. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm really pulling for you. No, I'm good. Really? You're, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, huh? Guess who's by? You. Miss?
No one could possibly get away with an act like that. Be wise to me in a minute. Don't be. Uh, you look enough like him. The same coloring and the same build. See how his clothes fit? No kidding, you almost had me fooled for a while. Oh, grow up, Vera. Don't you think a father knows his own son? And there must be other relatives. The father won't have to know you. We'll wait till he gives up the ghost. He's an old geezer and he won't pull through. And as far as I'm For a run. This early? With a bag? Yeah, I got work after. What's, um... Well, look, I'm not supposed to be here, okay? They agreed to let me talk to you for a minute or two, so please, just don't do anything stupid. Okay? Okay? Hey, please. I'm asking you nicely now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening to you. All right. They got you solid on this. Okay, there's no reason to make it any worse than it already is. They know, eh, don't, eh. They know somebody else was there. They got blood under a fingernail. Now, from one of the victims, it's blood that matches yours. Okay, a lot of valuables missing. Stuff not on the body of the dead perp. So, hey, they know that you two are working together. Okay? Whoa. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, man. That's crazy. Please, please. will kill you. They are itching to do it. I am begging you now. Oh, no. Get down on the ground and stop this shit. Now, goddammit, do it, son. Just listen to me, all right? Just listen. What have you 
you done? Well, I don't, I don't, what do you mean? How did you know that I was gonna come here? If you didn't, how could you possibly know? How? We got a tip, okay? Anonymous caller. Some lady. Don't lie to me! I don't understand what you're saying. She told us right where you'd be. I, I don't believe you. You're down on the fucking ground Give now. me a second! Please! One second! Very fidgety, okay? Just do what they say. Please! Nothing you're gonna regret. I can't. All right, listen to me. They have your key ring, all right, or a piece of it. The little Indian coin, they have it. My, my keychain? You must have dropped it at the scene, or it broke, or something. I don't know. They have it. They found it in the house. No, 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 no. Bates. That's not... <laughs> That's... That's not possible. No, I'm telling you that they do. Uh, they have it. Let's not make this any worse than it is. <sighs> hey! Just get down. Get down. Okay. Okay. Bates. Get down. No! Just get down. Don't answer that. I have to! Hey! Bates, no! Bates, no! No! Bates! Bates, don't! Bates! Bates! He's gone. Hello. Hi. How's the water? It's colder than you think. Did you steal this? I didn't return it. It's different. Uh. What happens at the end? I don't know. I didn't finish it.
the minute we met. You and me together. Me too. It's like a dream. Now it's real. <clears throat> no one will ever come between us ever again. I love you. I love you too. You promise?